Well, congratulations on making the move to Civil 3D 2023. Civil 3D is one of the most robust programs used within the civil engineering industry. And we typically use Civil 3D for drawing preparation, such as concept plans, surveys, construction plans, you name it. So in this first lesson, what we're going to do is we're just going to have a brief introduction into actually beginning just a brand new drawing. So the way that we do that, if you've already launched Civil 3D, go ahead and go up into the Civil 3D icon and then just select New. We get our Select Drawing Template dialog box and you'll see that we have a folder that's automatically set by default by Civil 3D and it points us into a direction to where we can actually select a template whether it's Imperial which is typically for the US or metric. We're gonna go with Imperial and then we're gonna click open. Now with this drawing template you'll notice that if you open up your layer control by typing in LA we have a very long list of layers. You'll notice that as you scroll through all of these layers, these layers begin with a particular letter. For example, A specifies architect or C specifies civil. If you scroll down all the way to the bottom, you'll see V which specifies survey. So a lot of these layers are organized in a particular way. Usually if you're dealing with a building footprint, you'll put that footprint on the A-building footprint. Or perhaps you're creating a concept plan and you'd like to generate just a proposed boundary for your property. That would be considered a civil layer, which is denoted by the letter C. You would scroll down and we have a C-property line layer which can be used for your just general outer boundary for your proposed property. Now these layers are mostly used as a starting point for generating your own layers. Now most of these layers are generated and tied to Civil 3D objects which we'll get into in a later lesson. So feel free to generate your own layers and just use this as just a way of being able to organize your layers. Let's go ahead and create a brand new layer, say for the proposed curb. I'd like to keep that curb layer within my road layers. So I'll just select C road, right click, then click new layer. And I'm gonna name this C dash road dash curb. Now the reason why I'm doing that is so that I can keep all of my road and pavement layers all together within one area. So I'll select enter and then I'll create a description by clicking and I'm just going to type in just something brief proposed curb. Press enter and select this button to make this layer current and I can begin creating my brand new parking lot. So this template is just used for just generating some basic layers and it gives you the opportunity to be able to organize some of your layers the way that you see fit. 